Good morning and uh, welcome to Kirkstone. I just thought I'd do this, uh, what I'm laughingly calling a, a hemi tour because it's not a tour of the whole of the main greenhouse here at Kirkstone but it is a tour of half of the greenhouse starting with a, a very quick overview and this is not an in-depth uh, piece of coverage this is merely um, to celebrate really the fact that this has been designated the warmest February day for 20 years here in the UK which is essentially um, something remarkable because last February was very very cold and whilst we have had a period of three or four weeks of very cold weather including quite severe snowstorms the overall ambience of the winter has been extremely unwintry and uh, we have, as, as I'm sure you can see, some unbelievable sunlight shining through various plants, making this ghostly variegated Hawarthia retusa even more ghostly than normal. It looks as if it's been lit from above, as one of my friends is, is very fond of saying. So uh, what I thought I would do is, is really not spend too much time, because I know everybody's busy, just having a look at half of the greenhouse and um, having a very brief discussion really about what's going on. Now this is not a, an official YouTube video, this is not going to be part of one of our in-depth um, studies of particular plant groups. This is merely uh, a quick update of, uh, of, of planning really and of future planning. So we have the I should pan back really, shouldn't I? We have the, the, the plants which all used to be Hawarthias, that section of the Liliales that were called comfortably for many, many years Hawarthias, and now, of course, have been split into those three subgeneric level groups. The, uh, the harder-leaved, um, bigger-growing Hawarthias, uh, which were... Uh, Previously, uh, uh, plants which we knew as Margaretifera, Pumula, Minima and all the rest of them have all been segregated off into Tulista a few years ago. And uh, we have some, some Tulista here, a couple of new ones. This is uh, Tulista cultivar Pumula emperor. So this is the emperor cultivar of Tulista Pumula. So there's the, the couple of Pumula variants here. We've got uh, Hawarthia Pumula itself, which really is one of my favourite, favourite plants. Lovely, 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 lovely spotted Hawarthia stroke Tulista Pumula. And we've got a hybrid between the stiffer recurved leaved uh, Marginata and Pumula, which has got, I don't know if you can see them both together. It's got a, a kind of a, a fatter, um, stiffer outreaching leaf as opposed to a slightly incurved leaf. And then we've got a particularly um, nice cultivar which came from Japan a few years ago and this is Angel's Tears. Uh, more more uh, correctly Tears of an Angel. Sounds like a, a Madonna LP cover doesn't it? That really is a, a lovely lovely plant. And then as I say we've got those, um, those two new offsets from Tulista uh, Emperor. So we've got a little two lister section there, so we'll be featuring that when we come along to do the Hawarthia series quite soon. Now towards the the back corner we have the Hawarthiopsis section. So this is the the section of the old Hawarthia grouping that was called the Hexangularis and they were separated off by um, a couple of botanists based on the structure of the flowers. So there's a couple of windowed species in there centering around the tessellata stroke venosa complex. Then there's the well-known attenuata fasciata complex with some nice um, variegated plants in that particular grouping. And then there are some larger growing um, attenuata fasciata complex groups like uh, attenuata varadula uh, the cultivar fasciata concolor, Hawarthia longiana, one of the longest leaved Hawarthias, and then there's the, the limifolia clade, 
There's uh, Limifolia var arcana there. We've also got the um, the spider white clone of Limifolia striata. We also have a nice variegated Limifolia there. So there's quite a, quite a lot going on in the Hawarthiopsis section. Obviously, I don't want to cover um, everything and uh, steal my own thunder for the official Hawarthi video when it comes out. But uh, there are some very, very, very attractive plants in the Hawarthiopsis section. At the Tulista section, we, uh, we've covered briefly. And then uh, the rest of the collection are essentially the plants built around the Truncata Morganii complex. And we have a few of those uh, with hybrids with different species. Many of which are around that hybrid Kagani. So um, Truncata times Kagani, for example, we have a small individual plant, Zuzimi, and we also have a colony of that plant, which is branching nicely. That's also Hawarthia Truncata Zuzimi. And I am experimenting with growing some of these clustering or clumping Hawarthias in lower pans, but almost alpine style. And really, really letting them branch at the base and seeing what they can do, rather than continually splitting them and taking them off. And the other main focus, apart from the general uh, Hawarthia approach, are the um, softer-leaved Retusai. So all of these plants which, which have windowed, uh, recurved leaves, including uh, my personal favourite, this Hawarthia pygmaea, there's a very, very large growing version of that particular taxon. And there uh, are many um, cultivars and hybrids like this Fusca and, uh, and others. So there, there are quite a few. I suppose one of the standout plants, and I'm never quite 100% convinced about the name, is this Retusa acuminata. It's just such a, an incredibly perfect eye-catching plant. So I say, this isn't a an in-depth um, genus overview of the plants that used to be Hawarthia. It's just to celebrate the fact that it's a nice day and to have a look at what's going on in the greenhouse. But that is the, uh, that is the, the brief February Hawarthia overview, just to see what's, uh, what's going on at Kirkstone. So the plans are to continue to segregate Hawarthiopsis, Hawarthia, uh, and um, Tulista out and to have separate growing areas for them and to look at the relationships between particular groupings like Tulista and uh, Hawarthiopsis with other plants like Gasteria about which I will speak very soon. Let's grow together, heal together, find true strength from one another. Smiles be many, tears are few. May all your dreams come back to you. It's a brand new day, brand new day, a brand new way. I sing like a bird, brother, fly away. Up up the mountains, up through the skies. My dreams last forever.
Christmas must be many tears of you. May all your dreams come back to you. It's a brand new day, a brand new way. I sing like a bird, brother, fly away. Up up the mountains, up through the skies. My dreams last forever.
smile. Let me see your smile for life. Smile for life. Let me see you smile. Let me see you smile. Let me see you smile. Let me see your smile for life. Smile for life. Oh, I keep living for this moment, wishing all my dreams come true. If you never try, you never fail. So try it well. So now I stand up on this mountain and I'm talking to the wind. Says to do what makes me happy. Do it well. Do it well. Let's grow together. Heal together. Find true strength from one another. Smiles be many. Tears are few. May all your dreams come back to you. It's a brand new day. A brand new way. I sing like a bird, brother, fly away Up up the mountains, up through the skies My dreams last forever
Okay, so there we are. We've gone from a, a very uh, general overview of the um, Hawarthia collection way back in February. And as you can see, it's changed enormously uh, now that we're here in October 2019. And I hope you really enjoyed the uh, focus on the truncate section. So these are the Hawarthias which are derived from Hawarthia truncata, like this uh, uh, plant that you saw a little bit earlier, the medium sized Hawarthia truncata as it were, to hybrids like the hybrid with Springbok placensis, some Japanese uh, cultivars like uh, Zuzimi, and you've seen the large uh, specimen size Zuzimi as well, to the plant which some regard as a um, subspecies uh, Morganii, Truncata subspecies Morganii, and some people uh, regard it as a, a fully fledged species, Hawarthia Morganii. So there are three specimens, including a larger one here in the collection, to some Japanese uh, Truncata hybrids like uh, Kagani here which we haven't featured on this video, but we might come back to on Truncata 2. And now we're moving. We're moving, moving, moving along the collection. And in the next uh, video, we're particularly going to be looking at the Retusa Warthias. So a very first look at the expansive Warthia Retusae collection here at Kirkstone. Okay, so we're going to be looking at all the major species um, in turn, like uh, berry, which is a, a very popular species, to the various clones of Hawarthia picta, uh, those plants derived from uh, Hawarthia splendens, a huge range of Japanese hybrids like this Abukuyu and uh, some more derived from Emelii and Comptoniana and hybrids in between them all. But basically the Retusa Warthias will be getting the next big focus. So I'll just finish on this uh, hybrid between Hawarthia Retusa and Hawarthia Magnifica which is a very very large growing plant and also uh, three plants derived from the uh, Emelii Comptoniana complex. So we're going to be featuring all of these in turn. Next video, meet the Retusai. I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye for now.
Thank you.